Here we are, once again, at the, at the bus stop studios of Inner City Press, outside the United Nations, where Antonio Gutierrez has thrown the press out for covering Cameroon. Now we're going to be asking uh, a, a prominent New York area Cameroonian about the elections that took place on Sunday. Silas, what, what have you learned? Thank you, Matthew, for having me at your studios <laughs> right here. Yeah. I'm delighted to be here, and I really want to uh, commend you on the great work that you are doing, not just for, for, for Cameroon and Bezonia, you're doing it for all the suffering people of the world, showing how uh, the ineffectiveness of these uh, officials in this building right here. Something really needs to be done around it, and elections just went on in Cameroon. I'm an Ambazonian. This election has a bearing on us, of course. And uh, we, we, we wake up uh, this morning after the elections, and uh, the government is saying everything went well. The uh, opposition coalition of Maurice Camto announced themselves uh, as the winner of the, uh, the elections. The Minister for uh, Communication, uh, Issa Shiruma, who we call the Lying Shiruma, actually went on uh, the media himself to, 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 to say that uh, the, the opposition are just lying and that was prepared in advance. But uh, exit polls uh, that we've been getting points exactly to, to what uh, Maurice Camto was announcing. So uh, it's, it's, it's of course true that a dictator like Paul Beer is not going to go down without a fight. That's what uh, we're anticipating. We know that they're going to try to, to, to do what they've done before. Mm -hmm. uh, mind you, uh, an Ambazonian or uh, a Southern Cameroonian had won this presidential election once in, in, in the 90s, Nijon Frunze of the SDF. But yet, uh, he used the corrupt methods and got away with it. The international community said nothing, of course. And uh, here we are today again. This is another occasion. What is the international community and the UN going to do about it? Another person just won the elections. What's going to happen? We don't know. What else? Absolutely. absolutely. Thanks a lot. The one, I saw that, that Bia's spokesman said in advance that he was, had won a victory, even before the voting started. Oh, yes. So this yes. Was, I, I wrote about that because I was thinking, before the election, Antonio Guterres, who's been covering this issue up ever since, at least for the last two, since he came in as SG, um, he put out a statement saying both sides should show restraint and only follow the legal processes. Yes. But then he didn't say anything when Bia's spokesman said, I already won the election in advance, an overwhelming victory. Today, I'm banned from the UN. I can't go to the briefing. I emailed it in. What they've said, their statement is that they didn't observe the election, but that they provided support to Elecam and their strategic communications, which has included saying that the election went off without a hitch. So from what I saw, there were empty ghost towns. I mean, almost nobody voting in, in Southwest and Northwest Cameroon. Is Matthew, that your understanding? Uh, Matthew, this Sorry is... the bus, but... Yeah. <laughs> bus stop studio. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. This is actually uh, the hypocrisy of, of the UN that you've been covering, and this is a clear example. You know, um, there are all videos documented that our region didn't participate in this election. Mm -hmm. it, it is uh, clear that our, all we could see on the streets in our towns were uh, military men with uh, machine guns mm -hmm. running all over the place. The streets were quiet and uh, none of our people came out and the social, on social media we were letting the world know. So the, it's, it, it's evidence that nothing took place. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a shame that this same election where which uh, most international observers that usually go for elections didn't take part in the same elections. Mm -hmm. And it appears from what you're telling me that this UN is going to validate exactly. indirectly, uh, indirectly, uh, indirectly, they indirectly they yes. Elecam's communications. The communications contain a lie. So what are they going to do? That's why I wish I was inside, and I'm going to fight to get back inside. Absolutely. They can say today they had they had they just read it out. There was no follow up. No one. So they just read a statement, and people say, "Oh, okay, great." The, the UN is again doing great work. They're doing absolutely zero. They. I mean, how can you be providing electoral support to a, to, a, to an electoral commission? That, that, that says, it, they said the election went off without a hitch. That's a direct quote yes. from the guy. Sadly, I, have, I do have to say this. I, I've been trying to cover as best as I can. The AU says that they observed it. They have some Togolese guy they sent there who said hey, everything went very satisfactory. That's satisfactory for who? I mean, it's really, as you may know, Togo's been ruled by the same family for 50 years. Absolutely. So it's the same, it's, it's the wrong it's, observer. It's, it's, it's the same clique, whether it's the Bia or the, yeah. or the Four, they're all the same uh, 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 group of people. So uh, it's like asking uh, in, in, what do we say in uh, 
in yeah. our dialect that sure. you, you you are to write to, to, to protect uh, 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 peanuts sure. for you. Yeah, anyone can understand. It, 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 doesn't, it, it doesn't work like that. Right. I, I think it, only in the UN. Sure. And, uh, only only in the UN. Maybe they should, they should have gotten some guy from Gabon. I mean, it was, it's too much. I don't know if you, <laughs> you follow the whole thing also with, with, he's kind of gone to ground. There's a, there's a Senegalese guy who I don't even mind as a person, but yes. he's following the UN line, a guy called uh, Adama Dieng. He's supposed oh. to be the advisor against genocide for the UN right here, right at the, at the bus stop studios or yeah. just to the side of it. Yes. I stopped him and I said, I don't understand how you can be saying that, that the, the biggest problem in Cameroon is sec secessionism. Yes. He said, no, no, as Africans, we have to be one. We have to stay as, uh, as, as Bob Marley said. He quoted Bob Marley. To, I, 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 I really want to comment on Please, that, Matthew. I'm, thro I'm throwing, you, uh, I'm yes, throwing it to you. Uh, um, a lot of times when uh, uh, this clique of people who want to discredit uh, uh, the legitimacy of uh, our uh, revolution, they, especially from the African side, mm -hmm. they uh, uh, come out and say, oh, oh, we are trying to make Africa one. Africa is supposed to be united. All the Bob Marley stuff that uh, <laughs> uh, Dan was giving to you. Sure. Uh, uh, there is no uh, Amazonian or Southern Cameroonian who doesn't believe in a, a, a united Africa. That is a fact that the world needs to know. Mm -hmm. And other Africans who, uh, who, who follow you, who are watching, should know this. Because as Amazonians, we, 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 we are Pan-Africanists. If you ask most of our activists and all of our leaders, they will tell you that they are all Pan-Africanists. But Africa, uh, the, the, the nature of Africa, the way it is, how uh, the colonialists had already disoriented Africa, we cannot function without recognizing the, the, the individual identities and taking into consideration the, the uh, 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 cultures and the, our individual differences. If we don't recognize and acknowledge that, any attempts to, to, to make some kind of Bob Marley one Africa is not going to work. That, 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 that is for sure. All of this, uh, 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 we, we are not claiming uh, a territory that doesn't exist. Then whatever he was saying, Togo uh, uh, became uh, a country mm -hmm. just like uh, Amazonia or Southern Cameroon became a country. The same status mm -hmm. where you have uh, Resolution 1608, uh, uh, which uh, uh, gives Amazonia or Southern Cameroon the independence, and we have uh, a, a, a UN demarcated boundary just like Togo. So uh, he shouldn't give me the One Africa Bob Marley story. I will, if he wants to debate with me, I would well like to sit down with him. I, I, this is an invitation right here if he wants good, to. Right. So, bus, we, we, I will sponsor it right here at the, the studios. Studio. Here got in the studios. Seats. The moderator. <laughs> you know, the other, we can I mean, do that. I so, do want to say, just as an aside, the, the Bob Marley reference is the one that really threw me off because okay. there's, there's almost nothing more le there's nothing more contrary to Bob Marley than Antonio Guterres. Oh. He's a man who lives alone in a $15 million mansion having journalists beaten up yes. so he can fly around on your money to, to his European home. And it's too much. It's too much. It, it, this it, it's is too not, much. And the, and the UN is supposed to be about principles of, of decolonization and equality. Absolutely. And it turns out it's nothing but elitism, censorship, and corruption under current leadership. And it must change. You know, it is amazing that uh, an organization which was founded on the principle to, 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 to solve problems S today from what uh, you have mm -hmm. exposed seems to be uh, like the number one creator mm -hmm. of all the problems that the world mm -hmm. is facing today. Talk about uh, the uh, deals that his son is mm -hmm. going about doing in, in Africa. Those deals create problems for, 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 for us Africans. It's and a colonial uh, company. It's a, it's, a country, it's a Portuguese company doing business in all of these Portuguese language uh, yes. colonies. And again, that's fine, but he needs it's to disclose fine. it. He needs to disclose and it. And when, when you ask done, about it, they just smash you down. It, like, exactly. like they would do in any kind of... This is what Ali Bongo would do. This is what... Oh, yes. Right? This is definitely what Paul Beer would do. I don't know why a guy who wants to, who's 86 wants to be president for this many more years. I don't know. I guess maybe he's a, you know... <laughs> it, 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 is it is amazing... Uh, it, it, it is amazing that at 86 year. It's not just him, Matthew. Yeah, uh, you it's know, a whole team of it, it, it's a team of. I, I don't know if you watched um, the the Senate president yeah. of Cameroon who went to vote the other day. The video is viral. The yeah. video is viral on social media. Those are the kind of leaders. Uh, uh, the, the rest of the world expect us to yeah. to 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 bow, down to, to bow down to. It's unacceptable in this century and in this modern times. Uh, uh, no body, no. Africans are waking up for, for real. It's not just only in, in right. Cameroon or in Amazonia. 
Africans are waking up to all this uh, uh, type of leadership that it's, it, it doesn't work I've for been Africa. following the case of Bobby Wine in Uganda, which yes. is that uh, this guy, yes. they beat him up, he went out of the country, he went back, they tried to lock him up when he flew back in. The, guy, like, the yeah, guy's in power. How long has Yari Museveni been in power? For real. I know. And yet the UN loves him. They will not criticize he him. He comes because here all the absolutely, time. Absolutely. They say they're using him as peacekeepers. And this guy is, is taking advantage of South Sudan. Uh, his, his foreign minister, Sam Kutesa, was president of the General Assembly and arranged to take bribes inside the building from a Chinese business. I'm covering this trial downtown. China Energy Fund Committee paid him $500,000 for oil concessions and banks, deals through buy banks in Uganda. The only question Museveni had when he found out about it is, why didn't I get the money? <laughs> No, seriously. And Guterres is in on it because he refuses to do an audit. Oh, this is a serious case. This is not a civil case. It's a criminal case, federal prosecution, that every time I go and cover the trial, there's more about the UN. And this is what they say. No, we don't want to hear about it. The journalists inside the building, they don't want to hear about it. There's a guy, not to be anti-Chinese, but the head of Interpol, right? Major UN organization, yeah. disappeared. The Chinese just detained him, abducted him. The UN didn't say anything because it's China. So how far is it going to go? There's, there's a Saudi journalist apparently chopped up inside the consulate in Istanbul. That's what they say. And it took... It took that like is pulling horrible. Teeth. It's horrible. Horrible. And the UN is like pulling teeth. They say, well, we're concerned about all journalists. Well, I can say on personal knowledge, I'm not so sure. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm not <laughs> sure about actually... Um, sincerely, the, 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 the treatment that um, Antonio Gutierrez uh, and this is UN has given to Inner City Press and yourself is what? something that will... Uh, it's stuck in my mind... <laughs> Forever, I, sometimes I, 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 I tend to believe that if you were not here in America, right. they would go further. They, I don't, they don't yeah. go further. Oh, yes. absolutely, absolutely. So, I, so this is scary. This yeah. is scary stuff. I know, and then the, 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 just, again, because I'm, I'm, I, 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 I didn't, I wasn't chopped up in a consulate, yes. and I didn't, you know what I mean. So I'm, I'm grateful that I still have my laptop and a bus stop. But these guys, their instincts are totally negative, and there's been, they've had every opportunity to change it. Ninety-seven days. There was a story in the New York Post with a picture of me right here. There was there was things on, in, in the Independent. They don't care. They insist that they, you know, I, I won't get into that now, but I'm yeah. gonna, I, I am not giving up because there's video. I'm the one that was roughed up by their security. Exactly. They said I did videos inside the building. I, they're all still online. You can look at them. I said, why is it that inner city press has no place to work and you're giving office space and full access to people that don't even come that, in. Yes, there's I, a meeting I on, watched that yeah, video. That's Absolutely, the one that, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense It doesn't make sense. There's a meeting coming up this uh, on the 11th, October 11th, about Western Sahara, another colony. Yes. They I'm beginning it, uh, to, to get interested yeah. in the Western Sahara Western story. Sahara. Uh, yes, uh, I think I met uh, <laughs> a, one other activist uh, and we are in communication. I, yeah. I didn't know much about I know, the it's, it's been Sahara around story. so long. It was yes. another UN failure. Exactly. They were supposed to hold a referendum, she they never did. all that to it's, me. Too. Yeah, yes. they were supposed to hold a referendum, they didn't do it. They kept getting paid. It's fine. Morocco likes it. I, I know many Moroccans, they feel very strongly that it belongs to them in the same way that their BS says your area belongs to... Okay, that's yes. fine. But. UN has set it up in such a way they have five Moroccan state media inside with full access to the meeting, and I'm the only journalist covering from the other side, and I'm in the street. So it's it's just censorship and corruption. Absolutely, it is censorship. You see, um, sometimes when I watch the, how uh, whether it's Dujere's response to questions that I asked about you, uh, in short, I am. Uh, so some words that I can't really use yeah. come to my mind yeah. to, to really express myself. I think, it, I think this is not the end of it. We will, we'll, however long it takes. Because in the, my view is this. There's people all over the world. I'm just one guy. But there's yeah. people all over the world these people are screwing. I mean, yes. even what we're talking about, we're talking about, you know, politically they're on the wrong side. They went to Haiti negligently. I'm not saying they did it intentionally. They went to Haiti after the last earthquake and they brought cholera and 10,000 people were killed by it. Because they brought peacekeepers from Nepal that weren't screened, they, they, they put their excrement in the river, yes. the people had never had it before, 10,000 people died. And the UN didn't pay one cent. Nothing. They said, we're doing such great work around the world that if we have to pay here, we couldn't do good work elsewhere. Really? You know what? Then stop. Stop all your operations. First, uh, do no absolutely. harm. It's like a doctor who says, sorry I cut your arm off, yes. but if I have to fix it, then I can't go and solve somebody else's problem. You're not solving anybody's problem. You're, You're not killing people. Absolutely. It's obvious. That's actually, to my yeah. point, that uh, uh, this building is actually creating more problems around the world. It could than, be better. Than, there than, should than, be something like this, but yes. the way it's being run, it's impossible. So uh, let's, 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 rather, let's wrap this one up because this will not be our last one. Absolutely. What do you think? How? What's the next? What are the next steps? I heard it's two weeks until they announce the, yes. the results. Uh, it's two weeks until they announce the result and come on. This is uh, uh, what Saudi strongly feel. 
whatever has gone on in Cameroon as elections, yeah, we congratulate the Cameroonian people for standing up and um, making their choices to let, because they have overwhelmingly let Abia know that he is not even wanted by mm -hmm. the Francophones, by the Francophones. Oh, right, right. That is a fact. I heard the, the uh, just, I'm sorry to cut in one time, sure. but the, that the, the lights went off in the airport. Somebody put the video oh, up. Like, yeah, what's yes. happening? It's a country that has a lot of resources and you can't even keep the lights on in the airport? The, the airport one time was flooded for, 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 for days and there was nothing anybody could do about it. You just had to have to wait. So this, this is the kind of stuff that uh, uh, Paul Bia wants uh, those people to come and vote him into office for the mm -hmm. seventh uh, uh, The force of experience. Yes. Yes, you can. I, I guess it's fire like and fury. The, That's the, his real campaign. The force slogan. of uh, inexperience, you would say. <laughs> yeah. Because all the time, it doesn't. Experience is not necessarily how much time you have spent. It's what you have learned within the time that you have you you have been there. But apparently, uh, Paul Bia has learned nothing. Uh, he was in power before I was even born. But uh, what going back to the, the things they they. they the, uh, or the, what, uh, the former president who wasn't the, 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 a great president himself no. what uh, he left that we could see from history tells us that uh, whatever he was he was way better than who uh, 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 ever could be there, there is nothing more for him to because uh, Aijo was there for 22 years he's been there for 35 years 36 years no, now no. and there is, there is nothing to show for it so it's not another 7 years that uh, he, he has anything to offer. So uh, we, 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 we salute the, 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 the Cameroonians for change, trying to change their destiny. Uh, they shouldn't, our advice is for them not to allow what happened to uh, uh, Nijon Frundi when he won and it was taken away from him. Mm -hmm. They can stand up and fight for what is actually theirs. Uh, uh, as we, when we got fed up with the system, we started our revolution to cut off from from the mess mm -hmm. and uh, thank God our people our resolve is strong we are keeping forward we, we continue to use uh, every uh, um, means that is available for us to to, uh, to achieve our uh, uh, our goals the killings that is still going on in in our land we wake up to uh, to more killings after the, the elections whatever the uh, uh, new president of Cameroon will be we're encouraging Cameroonians and uh, their new leader to uh, exercise uh, uh, to, 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 to exercise some kind of civility that is different from what uh, their pre his predecessor or, or at, uh, when the time comes when it will be announced. Because for us, we know that uh, 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 legally or transparently, there is no election that Paul Bia can ever win. Mm -hmm. So uh, if it finally is established that. Uh, they have a new president. We encourage him to do the right thing. Uh, Amazonians, we are peaceful and open people. We will discuss, we, we have set uh, conditions for negotiations. Our leadership already put conditions for negotiations. And whenever th th those conditions are available, trust me, everything will, will come down and we will talk like they are one Bob Marley brothers that uh, <laughs> uh, they, 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 they want us to know. Excellent. Yes. Let's end it with the Bob Marley reference. Hey, in honor of Adama <laughs> Dieng and, and his yes. boss, uh, Antonio Guterres. Yes. Okay, it's been real. <laughs> Thank we'll you do it so again. much, uh, Matili. Uh, that was really, that was fabulous. <laughs> um, in the studio, one more time. Yeah. Mr. Secretary General, why, am I, why have I been banned from the UN? For 17 days, I can't enter the UN. I'm a journalist. It's censorship. Your security roughed me up as I covered the budget, and I can't come in for 17 days. It's called censorship. It's really unfortunate. You need to do something about it. I wrote to you on June 25th. I said Lieutenant Dobbins had attacked me. Why didn't you do anything on Cameroon? A hundred villages burned down. A journalist thrown in the street that asks about it. It's really, it's shameful. It's shameful censorship by the Secretary General.